You guys are not going to believe it. I bought another car, another classic muscle car. Let me show you. <laughs> for the big reveal hold on to your panties are you shocked <laughs> I bought Uncle Mike's Mustang long story made short Uncle Mike uh, has got his eye on a Porsche he wanted to free up some cash it was here I guess he just uh, you know um, probably from me having it for so long and you know the uh, he just wants something like right now, tangible, fun to play with. And uh, I made him an offer on the car and we came together on a number and I'm totally excited to have this car. I've got a 1970 Fastback Mustang. Now I've had one of these before. I've had a 1969 Fastback Mustang, which actually now belongs to my dad. It was actually his and it was mine and now it's his again. So uh, I guess we're keeping these Fastbacks in the family. But let me show you what I'm up against on the old 70 fastback here. This thing, th this, this car was touched by what I like to call a mud magician. He was a, a magician. Whoever laid this 55 gallons of body filler on this car was a true magician. I mean, because, holy cow. Long story short, this car has had some quarters done to it. Now this is kind of a quick fix. You, you'll, you'll probably see a lot of people do a quarter like this where they cut the old one off, slap the new one on, lap it, and send it. I don't do business this way, and this quarter's coming off the car because of this junk right here. They got really creative with that. But let me show you this other quarter. This other quarter is really good. It's in good shape. It's installed in a fashion that I'm not super pumped on. I may cut a slit right down the top of the body line here, or just inboard of the body line, and butt weld it in. Or I may not. I, I mean, if I go down that road, it's going to end up like that car in pieces for like 13 years. So this car's running and driving. I have the other quarter panel for it. Let's go take a look at it. Um, yeah. Oh, but before that, I took the uh, the window molding out because I need to remove this window. And I do have some rust in here. One of the window stainless uh, trim clips is totally rotted and gone. This side isn't as bad. Uh, that's, that side's actually not bad at all. But uh, long story short, I've got a 1970 Fastback Mustang, and I also have a lot of work to do. Let's go look at that quarter panel. It is a gloomy day here in northern Alabama. Right at the end of summer, fall's trying to come through, temperature's still a little bit warm. It's great fishing weather. I don't know if you're into that, but I love it. All right, the quarter panel showed up. I was out of town for work. The, uh, the freight guy dropped it off in the in the uh, main garage, so let's take a look at it. Oh yeah, we got the good stuff. There it is peeking through. Now the box did come damaged. Uh, like I said, I was out of town on work and my wife FaceTimed me. She's like, is this okay? And I was like, oh no, but um, it's not dented or anything, so let's get it out of the package. Take a look at this uh, this quarter panel. The panel looks really good. Um, it's got this like uh, weld through primer on that they put on there. I'm not sure. I'll have to do some research on that and see if I like it or not. I've, I've never messed with it, so I don't know. But it looks good. Let's uh, let's carry it over over to the shop. So one of the things I have to do to uh, put that down there, one of the things I have to do is in these cars, there's a lead seam right about here. And that's where they leaded in the factory quarter panel to the roof skin on these cars. 
And this replacement, here you can see a better picture of it, it's right there. And so what I need to do on this car here is I gotta get down to the lead and uh, scrape it out. So we're gonna do that now, I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So the quickest way to remove all this is with fire. All right, so if you look right there, you can see the difference in texture. That's the lead seam. I'm gonna try and do this with one hand while I hold the camera, but basically I'm gonna heat it up with the map torch and then I'm gonna try and brush it out. There you go, it's starting to move. You see that? That's what you're looking for right there. And you just come along and blip, blip. That's what we're looking for. And I'm going to try and keep the heat down here because I'm reusing the roof skin and I don't want to warp it. Anyways, that's the idea. I'm going to do this with two hands now so I have a little more control and then I'll bring you back when it's done. Okay, you can see I'm I'm a little bit uh, I'm a little bit into this already. Uh, I got carried away and I was like I'm gonna cut this quarter panel off this car and I was like, dude, film it, okay? So that's why you're a little bit late to the party. But really, all that I've done up to this point is just buzz out the panel. Let me grab the panel. I'll show you. Here's the old panel. That's all I've done is is cut it out. Um, and by cut it out, I just used a, a a body saw. And I'll I'll get in on this closer in a little bit and show you trash like it just needed to come off okay um so that was step one is just that was step one just removing the big big uh, part of the body panel. i'm going to bring you in tight here and show you what the next step is to doing a quarter panel on your mustang okay so once we've cut it off and all i did was run the body saw so i i still have all this all this material here all the way up across the front of the door frame all the way through here, I gotta finish getting this lead out and then come down through here. So I cut it all out and then uh, look at this. That's Bondo or some kind of body filler. Isn't that ridiculous? There's also like two layers of quarter panel in this, it's trash. Anyways, so the only thing I've done is uh, I started to remove this and this back sheet metal is super thin. It's like thinner than the body, which I wasn't expecting. I've never, uh, I've never had a fast back down like this. So anyways, uh, all this stuff, I'm gonna end up cutting this, rebuilding the panel for the uh, quarter panel to weld to because I'm not happy with, with that. I tried to drill them out and I have a spot weld cutter coming. I thought I had one, but I just couldn't wait. So I started drilling them out. Anyways, so I need to continue uh, removing this area up here, in and around through here. There's probably several hours worth of work and just getting the remaining parts of the quarter panel off. But I chose to cut it out because it gives me so much more access to like get under things and pull on things. And like I had to take the trim screws off of this and like it's just so much easier with the panel out of the way to get behind it and start doing everything. So this car looks like it's also had a wheel tub. Um, but I mean, the work that they did looks okay. Everything's in the right spot as far as I can tell, but like a lot of it's unpainted and unfinished and I think they just put this car together to to get it on the road okay so where I'm at now is I'm gonna start working on getting this piece of the, uh, the quarter panel removed down to about here if you see under here there's some garbage I think that is yeah I'm gonna probably end up replacing this quarter it's not the taillight panel there's a piece that goes goes from in here right right about there and comes up this way and is this part around here I'm gonna go ahead and replace that too just because I don't like how they did this it's it's not correct so and this right here like this big gap here does not exist on this side this this side is is as it should be so I'm gonna make this right I'm gonna cut all this crap off okay here's where I <laughs> here's where I am I've managed to get most of this off right here and I got this piece off down in here. The new quarter panel comes in at around here. So I just, I cut that off. The new quarter panel's got this drain channel in it. I'm gonna replace this piece. I don't know if I mentioned that already, but 
it's just too far gone. There, there's too much horse, horse BFery going around here. And I just came under here and noticed that the valance is like mudded into the quarter panel. So I'm gonna figure out where that goes and where that went wrong and uh, remove the <laughs> material there. And hopefully I can start working the panel off from back here from the taillight panel. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping I don't have to replace the taillight panel, but it's starting to look like I might have to. And I got some rust in here and a bunch of body filler, so I need to pull that off, see how far that back that goes. I may need to replace this panel as well. I really hope I don't have to because that's a lot of the structure for the back of the car. And my new name for this car is The Onion because every time I pulled something apart, there's more underneath it. So this car's definitely been an onion and uh, I'm trying not to get I'm trying not to get too down on the fact that this is more than I bargained for, uh, but that's okay. I've seen people start with a lot less and have to go a lot further. So I'm just gonna keep on trucking and get some more layers of this onion peeled off. And hopefully by the end of the day, I'll have all the old sheet metal off and somewhat ready to fit that new panel in the back. Maybe a taillight panel, uh, but the quarter for sure. Okay, we're taking a quick break to <laughs> clean some stuff up here. And also, does this happen to anybody else, this situation? Is that is that exclusive to me, or does that happen to you guys as well? Anyways, okay, so the taillight panel, I think, is salvageable as long as I can get this panel cut off in the right spot. This is actually part of the quarter back here and all this, but this piece right here, there's a piece right here. No, excuse me, this is not part of the quarter. This is a part of the piece I need to replace. So you can cut it. I need to cut it off in the right spot is what I'm getting at. But I want to wait till the other piece of metal comes in to, so I can cut this off in the, in the right spot and not waste a bunch of time cutting stuff. But I think the taillight panel is going to be okay. This is interesting. <laughs> I keep pulling off body filler and then there's a bunch of rust under it. So I don't know yet what I'm going to do with this. And when I was pulling it apart, it ripped right there. I did that. That's my fault, but I could fix it. And so I'm going to start cutting the bottom of this off here down there, up over the fender well, and in the door area. Okay, I think I'm at a stopping point for the day. Um, I gotta get this panel in right here. I'm gonna order it, I'm gonna go sit down and order it, have some lunch right now. And then, so it'll probably be here in a week. And I, would, I just wanna make sure I make the right cuts on this to get this piece off. Anyways, there's some more adventure. Um, my new quarter panel cuts in at a different place, it looks like. Maybe, maybe not, than, uh, than where this one is. So you can see where they took the old valance right here and just welded it to the quarter panel. I'm not quite sure why they did that, um, but because it's already there, I may do the new one that way. It doesn't look bad. I mean, it's if you wanted to French in the valance, it's, I mean, the work could need some help, but it's the, the method, the idea is there. Anyways, I gotta come through here and, and blast all this off. But what I want to do is get that other panel so I kind of save some time and don't cut more than I need to. Um, yeah, we're going to call that a video for the day on, on pulling this thing apart. Real quick, if you're doing a quarter panel on your car and you're watching this video for like instructional, maybe don't. <laughs> but I mean, the, the method is right. There's um, several other channels that have done quarter panels. Please do your research. Check all those out. One of the ones that um, I watched, uh, a young cat out of California, the Craig 909. He's a Ford guy also. And he's done like a 63, four Galaxy. I'm not sure of the year, but a big body Galaxy. He did quarters on two of those cars. And I think he has two of those cars. And he's done um, a, lot, a lot of sheet metal work on that. So uh, check out his video. Of course, check out mine. And just kind of inundate yourself with information. Because just jumping into this without a, an idea of how it's going to go could probably, probably be pretty rough. So make sure you do your research. So with that said, if you guys have any ideas or like concepts or methods that you use to do quarter panels on your car, please leave them down in the comments below. I've never done a quarter panel on a fastback like this, and I've never done a full quarter panel at all, just a lot of repairs in the past. So cutting off a whole panel, putting this on, it makes sense to me, it's, uh, it's new, I've never done that. So if you see something that's like, hey, that's probably goofy, just let me know, um, and I'll be sure to hopefully fix it before I <laughs> travel too far down a road that I don't need to be down. But anyways, thanks so much for coming around. Please uh, consider subscribing to the videos if you haven't. Um, I do old Ford stuff. I like Fords. So I got my 70 Fastback, my 63 Falcon. I got an F100 that's next on the list coming in here. Uh, so if you like this kind of content, please uh, stick around for more. And I guess I wanted to do one or two episodes with this. 
for the quarter panel, but it's gonna it's gonna be a few. There's gonna be several episodes, so stick around for that. Thanks, guys. We'll see you.